Come, car. Yes. Jackie's car. Hey, is it possible for me to wreck this car so badly I can't even drive it anymore? I really hope not. Oh, we're going this way. Marker's changing its mind. Really? Oh. Might want to be a little bit careful with the driving here. Really? Am I really going the right way? Well, the number's decreasing. We've got to be. Let's go fast! Fast and furious. And alive. Let's stay alive. Ooh. No! No! Sorry, guys. I... I'm still trying to get my license here. Not a very good driver. But this puts us all the way back across the bridge again. <laughs> we just went across. Oh, I missed my exit. Road closed. Interesting. What was the initial reason for the lockdown again? Was it like suspected terrorism threats or something like that? I don't even remember anymore. Whatever the problem is, I guess it's not a problem anymore. We're getting close. Oh wait! Oh wait, oh wait. Santa Muerte strides beside you! I could have just fast traveled, but hey, driving here was fun anyway. The end is near. Are you a, a doomsayer? Si, hello? I'm giving you a chance to tell me what you're thinking, but you're not. Okay, well, good luck on your quest. It's another building, just like my own. Fast travel marker right here. They do have rooms available. But you ran a discount yesterday. Half price on everything. And I sold twice more stock than usual. So... You broke even? Yes, but the goods were trash. I would have thrown them away. That was fucking rhetorical. The Stan's Tiger Claw's property, and your Tiger Claw's property. You had one job. Sell the stock, take the eddies, and do nothing gunk. Is that so hard? Is that clear? Run your fucking discounts when you get your own fucking stand. Which will be never. <laughs> In case if we were uncertain who this territory belongs to. I'm pretty sure these are urns. They look exactly like an urn, but they're selling stuff like tea, tea leaves next to it. And like eating bowls. It's just random stuff. I kind of want this crepe or whatever it is. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. You're about to know my wrath. There's another fixer here. Not a bad idea to see them before getting in, I guess. Are they in the same building? Clouds is a uh, what is it? It's a club, right? That's what I'm thinking it is. If we can get to the fixer first, I kind of prefer that. Oh, the, the layout is exactly like my building. Remember this little alcove thing? Yeah, it's all... It's the same building. Set in different places. Okay, maybe we'll worry about the fixer later on. I don't see a way to go down. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. Both? What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is high. Not so necessarily in that order. No coincidence, we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Arisaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. 
Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka... Wait, what? Hey! Don't disappear on me, Johnny! I wasn't done with you yet! Oh, that seemed like an interesting conversation, too. I guess I gotta remember to not look away. Dang it. Yeah, it's the same freaking layout. That's the infidelity. Uh, no. Well... How's that any different from some dollhouse ass? Cause the ass is meat, not latex. That's so hard to understand. Meat, right. No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. It's empty. Might as well be latex. Masturbation, sophisticated kind. That's all it is. Whoa, fuck. Makes perfect sense, that. Why are you guys talking about this in front of a food shop, man? I thought we were standing in front of clouds for a second. Clouds. Doesn't hurt to get to know the area a little bit. Might be a good idea to go in with some RAM though, you know, don't use all my RAM and then try to go in and see what happens. Sit and wait until the evening. We can have a look around. Hmm. Clouds. Clouds. One of the priciest and most technologically advanced dollhouses in Night City, Clouds offers you an experience tailored to your deepest desires, desires you might not even be aware of. First, you jack into the system, then your fantasies and preferences are scanned, and finally, the data is automatically transferred to the most suitable doll who eagerly fulfills them. The doll is controlled by a chip, which means they aren't even aware of what happens in the session, and their memory is wiped each time. Doll houses are frequented not only by people with your run-of-the-mill fetishes, but also those who are antisocial or cripplingly shy. Are dolls people? They are, right? I think Johnny called a joy toy a doll. But the wording is kind of ambiguous, I'm not really sure. Like, is it a robot or is that what they were talking about here? Something about plastic and meat? Hey girl, I'm looking to get wet. I remember you, you're the same hologram from back in... Oh, I can change it. Oh... But wouldn't that... Would that change it for everybody or just me? Just keep it on the anime hair one. Bushido 3, live fast, die never. Surprisingly quiet. Hmm? Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? She scanned me without me saying it was okay. How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. You give me the impression that you are kind of high-end, but your building is in a very not nice place. Jack in, So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. 
You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. That sounds so dangerous. Ah, so it's discreet and discreet. C-R-E-E-T and C-R-E-T-E. Check in, please. Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Ooh, that might not have been... We might be alerting people to... Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. Oh, I didn't have to jack in. Hmm. I'm not a customer. Well, all the more reason to be excited. There's a first time for everyone at Clouds. It's no reason to dawdle. All you need to do is jack in. We'll create your personal profile and you'll be good to go. Huh. I'm sorry. Did she finally say anything useful? No. Fuck the menu. Let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef. Point blank. Can you see that computer? I'm actually really curious because I'm not standing where you are right now. Can you see the computer and tell me what's on it? Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. I don't want to jack in. You realize personal links aren't secure, right? Could get hit with malware straight to my core. End up paying an arm and a leg for a ripper dock. We need data from your core to pair you up with the doll. Meaning a biometric scan? Just that. If anything goes wrong, you can lodge a complaint. But that's never happened. I guess I have to. Alright, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. Is this gonna be like another brain dance? If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe board. Hmm. Samurai. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. I'm hoping Samurai comes up less often in regular conversation, as opposed to afterlife. Interesting. Is that normal or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? I, uh... uh which one is which again? <laughs> I don't remember. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment. And you'll venture into the clouds. They probably let you choose here because they don't know your preferences, gender-wise. Mm. I guess we'll just pay. There you go. And <laughs> she just stares at me. Payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. That sounds really dangerous for me, but I guess we have no choice. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Don't worry, all your grown-up toys will be safe with us. Well, I'm sure Johnny had people chasing after him every day. We hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, this is kind of dodgy. 
It's so quiet. That's what's scaring me. It's so quiet. Probably because it's soundproof. You know, discreet and discreet. I'm gonna need a drink for this. Why is there a freaking... Okay, that's not a good sign. Ping! Great. Ping lets us see people around. You know, just to... just to know, you know? Tiger claws. Am I allowed to be... I don't think I should be allowed here, right? Actually, that customer just walked out, so maybe it's okay. Not bad, but it would be much better real. I wouldn't eat those thighs. What do you mean, real? She's all ones and zeros. Do you mean I can ask her to do anything? Literally anything? Ask? It's not about asking, man. Just gotta be programmed. At least I would hear no laments about pain. It hurts. It hurts. It's a hologram. What's so hard to get? Let me have my fantasies. Not like you know how to hack it, so why don't we just shut up and enjoy the show? <coughs> so a doll is just a hologram? It's the whole thing about how brain dances are so real, you can't even tell if it's fake or real, right? I'll take that. I walked past my booth already. I'm just looking around. Ooh. Oh, I don't know why he suddenly started walking. That kind of scared me. Just looking around, you know, you never know. Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot of- there's an awful lot of crates around here, which is curious. It's probably gonna mean that later on we can- you know what, let's- can we do this right now? Will people get mad? Oh. People will get mad. If people find out. Which they won't. Get some money first before we go meet the doll. You know, it does cost to go into the cloud. $700. Paid back for my thing already. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Just a bathroom. Okay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Where are you? Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Why why am I a deviant? Why did you already assume I'm a deviant? Hi, I'm Sky. <laughs> and you must be Valerie. The way she's talking. Oh, I didn't know. No, it's Velens, remember? It, it's Velens. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Well, looks like this will be interesting. So, V. You're dying. <laughs> Already. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside. You fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. 
Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. Wait, so you are real then? Yeah, you're not a hologram. But your job requires your memory getting wiped after every client? Silent. Why? Thinking. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. You just gonna talk in circles, that it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. Oh, what's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything? Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. Think you know me well. Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. Had a true friend once. Now he's gone. Soon I'll be gone, too. Except won't have anyone by my side. Everything you need, you already carry inside you. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know I was here, that I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? Death is death is death. You're gone. Game over. You can't know that for certain. Even if you've been there and back. Believe me, I've seen it. And it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since. Or for what's to come. What I've been through. Tough to move on from that. Death was something that happened to other people. Hell that I dealt to others. Now my number will be up. Wasn't enough I died once. Have to go and do it again. Death's absurdity. The futile struggle before. These terrify you. <sighs> so what now? You find out what it is you need to do. Which is? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you 
never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do. But everything has its end. This was unexpectedly... A very tender moment. Not the kind that you expect to experience at a place like this. I can see why Clouds is popular. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Damn, that wasn't even really her. This is really her. Mm. That was... If you're done here, you should go. That was a nice talk, okay? But uh, we, we're here for a job right now. A lot of things been going on in my head lately. But this was... different. Refreshing. That's what we do at Clouds. I get why people come here. Come back. But... I need something else. Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. I don't like paying money, but I feel like this is a place that's really about money. If you're done here, you should go. Because the, the person we had a connection with was the pre-memory wipe one. I don't think she'll help me just because I want her help. I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you. Your Eddie's and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. Alright, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. First, tell me what you know about Evelyn. Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. What's that mean? Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing, keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Can I just stand there or tell me a number? Eleven. Eleven is her booth? Her designated booth? This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since, um... The incident? Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah, and do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. <laughs> we had such a tender moment with her, and now she's like, yeah, sure, whatever. It kind of... Kind of breaks my heart a little bit. <laughs> this some kind of seizure? Who's Tom? A doll. Like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2. I think. Thanks. See? You turned out to be useful after all. This whole moment was unexpectedly tender. Even among normal or even best friends. 
talking deeper about deeper stuff <laughs> is not something that usually comes up in the average conversation. So that was really nice and maybe something that V needed that she didn't even know she needed. Although it kind of bothered me that nobody was sleeping on the pillow. It was right there. And that's what pillows are used for, but no, we just lay our head on the sheets. <laughs> well, thank you, Sky. Thank you. If that even is your real name. To getting inside Evelyn's thing, booth is optional. Eleven. Numbers are going down here. Eleven. This okay? Can you close it? Let's take a look, shall we? Police Hollow View. See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. Should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. Not letting the doll jack into the port? Blood. Fresh, not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. I'm sorry, I don't even know where you're seeing this blood. It's really dark in here. Oh, wow. Oh. Doesn't seem like it's related to the customer. Well, client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. A netrunner? Weird. Kind of hard to see something like that from someone that we know. I liked Evelyn. Yeah, I don't think we need to see this again. Hmm. That's a bit worrying. Well, there's only one way to find out more information. Uh, that guy walks away from time to time, right? So is that how I'm gonna be able to... Actually, can't I just pay for access to VIP or something? Is that not okay? I can't force it open. Come in. I don't have authorization. You know what? Are you a tiger claw? You, my friend, may have authorization. Where's my authorization? Here it is. Now, I'm really hoping that guy is not looking over here. Good. I needed authorization to call the elevator. Is it coming? It's not really coming. Or am I looking in the wrong place? Am I supposed to be going here? Yes. I don't like that. It's too bright. 
This doesn't feel very VIP-ish. Of course I'm in, in, in my capacity. <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know where to... Uh, you really think they remember nothing? Well, that's uh, the whole point. They're not supposed to remember. Not a smidge. So why, every time, do they restart the conversation where we left off? Uh, that's not remembering? It's safe to the oh. doll chips that store their personas. Uh, Hold on. Thing. Real back a sec. You talk to them like talk yeah. talk? More like hard hey. life. Hmm. I guess that shows that uh because the clouds, the jack in was supposed to tune into what we really want. Some people uh. come here looking for a sexual experience, but V mm. V's fear of death is really overtaking uh -huh. everything. So and that's a talking, like a therapy session, is what the Cloud's machine thought, hey, this is what this person needs. Which is really sad when you think about it. Who is Lizzie Wizzy pretending to be? We are who we pretend to be. I've pretended to be everything. That's why I found the truth. Lizzie Wizzy is an artist par excellence. Her work includes award-winning albums and concert tours, film appearances, as well as, for a lack of better term, conceptual performance art. Her latest artistic obsession features a medium of brain dance. In recent interviews, Lizzie has mused about the boundary between our documentation of reality versus our active shaping of it. Could that mean Lizzie Wizzy plans to scroll her own BD? We can only dream. The chance to live just one day in her chrome skin. Fans will go wild. Hmm. Man, this profession of being a doll. It's so scary though, because then... Got some new hardware. There's so many yeah. periods Motorcycle, not motor oh, in machine, your motor memory yeah. where you just have a gap because they wipe your memory. Hey, I gotta remember you. You were the joy toy in front of the Japan town, isn't it? This place always this dead. Thought I heard a tumbleweed roll by. Dead for you. Lively for others. For me, just right. What can I get you? Got a house special? I'll take it. What do you mean exactly? Top shelf. Looking to put the edge on, not take it off. It depends what you like. Go with your gut. Surprise me. Vodka. Real fruit. Oh my god, what a luxury. It's not marketing, it's real. <laughs> That's so sad. Let's, uh, let's have some real fruit. I'm actually buying it. <laughs> and I saw my junk. Yeah, something in here was worth a lot. It was the kanji pendant. Does a good luck charm also keep out the bad? I don't know, you tell me. How is that different? Another of the same. Oh, another fruit. Oh, I'm okay, thank you. The foodie guide to Night City. The world traveler in Night City is faced with a dilemma. Enjoy the local cuisine or say they gut the trouble. If you don't own a trauma team policy, you're probably better off sticking to the tried and tested chains and exclusive restaurants. But if you do, Night City is full of risk that packs a lot of reward. Here is our risk reward breakdown of Night City's good eats. For the cautious consumer, blur. A gourmet dining experience with some of the highest accolades and richest portfolios in the city. If you're after high quality, locally sourced ingredients. What does that even mean in Night City? Locally sourced? Is that real fruit? I bet it's not. Blue is the place for you. Among its marquee dishes are authentic caviar, oysters, and imported prosecco. The alabaster white interior adorned with minimalist decor is perfect for a relaxing night out following a day of hustle and bustle. Authentic, huh? Pepper and Spice, a unique locale on the culinary map of Night City. This eatery was founded by renowned travel icon Tony Halik. It stands apart from the competition, thanks to its diverse menu of transcontinental fusion dishes, most of which are offered at surprisingly reasonable prices. Caribbean, Polish, Kenyan, it's all here. Just not in the combination you've ever seen before. The crowd favorite? Halik's own vanilla dumplings. For the gutsy gourmand. Buck a slice. According to urban legend, the NCPD has an entire file on the mysterious deaths of homeless people whose last meal was pizza from Buck a slice. True or not, bargain seekers living a euro dollar a lunch budget 
should still be prepared for gastrointestinal distress. Worth a risk? Only if you want the greasy slice of authentic Night City flavor. Plus, their secret recipe, Chili Spurt Scoparoni, is unlike anything you've ever tasted, but only available on special request. Rulai. Ah, I've seen this sign while walking around. At Rulai, you'll find all of the three Ps, potent, punchy, and pungent. Every visit to this local favorite is like playing a game of Chinese roulette. Regulars at Rulai claim you're just as likely to get bearable egg rolls and halfway decent rangoons as you are tainted tofu or citron salmonella. You've been warned. That bad? You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. We'll see. Oh, I see. Of course I'm in, in, in my capacity. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know where to... Uh-huh. No entry? Pretty sure no entry is a sign that I shouldn't be trying to go to that place. Okay. Is this okay? I'm scared. I can't tell. This doesn't say no entry. Oh, cuz it just leads back here. Okay. Do you mind if I just jack into your places? Is that alright? It is now. The one below us, I don't think we can get it because our body is not high enough. 1C... 1C... BD... 1C... 1C... Mm. Oh, I figured it out, finally. 55, 1C, 1C, BD. Y'all still okay with that? The elevator. Uh, VIP Tom. Hello, Tom. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Relax. You don't need any data. Don't need any deeds. I'm not a customer. Here to talk. To you, specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. Need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Out of Night City entirely? Osaka or Oslo? Which was it? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Uh, you know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird you went away so far. Is this even a well-paying job? If it's not, then I kind of wonder why I've gotten the impression that Evelyn Parker is well off. This job sounds so bad, like you lose your memory, you might get hit and, you know, hurt by customers. Ugh. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. More chasing around. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest, but everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Okay, thanks for the talk. Could it be Woodman yeah. finally shed Got some light on this shit show? Mm -hmm. Man oh, can only cycle. dream. The oh, skull sponges and his dolls. Uh, Ugh, that's what they should be replacing. 
Don't be so judgmental of people working here. I don't get the impression people would work here if they had a choice. Okay, that one guy's gone. This is okay. Okay, well now... <laughs> I probably should have gone in the door while this guy walked away. And what I wanted to do was turn off the camera first, but I controlled it instead. That's okay. Uh, I can't... Ooh, I can use the other cameras. Hold on. We can probably look around and see what's inside. With one of these cameras. VIP entrance. Performance area. Okay, maybe we should just stop and get out. Of course I'm in, in, in what capacity? Uh. <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know where to... Uh-huh. Oh. Pinging might be a good idea here. Uh. Mm. There's another guy over there. We can just ignore him. Hey. Uh. Oh. Who's that person? I want to read the computer and get that good. purple Got thing. New hardware. <laughs> Motorcycle, not motor. A washing machine has a motor. Uh, we... Came here for a knife. Uh -huh. Oh, I can just knock him out if I really wanted to. But I feel like less dead people is probably better for the long term. Hey. But. There's not much people around here anyway. Should be okay. <laughs> now, if we can move him away from the window, that would be ideal. Yeah. Hey. You might be able to see through the window here. Uh-huh. There's no... Uh. Yeah, I don't see like a um, container. What is this? Why is it explosive? Explosive server? This guy's gonna die if I put him next to it. Okay, just just put him here. Like, uh, actually, if we talk about line of sight, it might be better to put the body right below the window so that people looking in can't see. Schedule changes, incident report. Something. Flint and you. Shift change. Commotion in VIP area, client's VIP card expired. All currently employed security called in for emergency. Tiger Claws reinforcements called. Fight between two clients, both escorted off premises. Doll called security. Client was threatening her. Client escorted off premises. Problem with payment. Friend paid for client. Client refused to believe club. Escorted off. Mm, which one is what we're looking for here? Saturday? Doll beat up? That might be the one. Oh, 2 a.m. They hauled every last security man into the club. Is what V is saying. Oh, on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Hmm. Fukedom. Right there, see that? 2 a.m., they hauled every last security man to the club. Looks like they called Tiger Claws for backup, too. No thoughts? 
why would they need every person? So as far as we saw, Evelyn started freaking out, maybe because she got hacked. And then they called the entire security team here, which doesn't seem to make sense, right? Kendachi, New Spring Catalog. Kenshiri Adachi Armaments. This is selling guns, swords. Okay, very cool, but not right now. Mono Wire, Mono 2 Classic. Yada yada yada. Okay, cool. Files. Jose Allend. Allende. 23 visits. VIP. Just information on customers. Witnessed the cyber psycho attack as a teenager. Ever since then, afraid of becoming one himself. But wait. I thought the whole point of how this thing was so discreet is that they don't keep any information. But this information is... That seems pretty private. 82 oh, visits. Of course I'm in evil capacity. Tiger Claw's moonlight is peeping toms. Always got eyes on their dolls. Know what goes on in these booths. Yeah. Then, data mine the behavioral chimps. Saw that twist coming a mile away. Had a hunch? Still, wonder if it's for their own use or for sale. And who'd be buying? Kind of worry about UV because you jacked in too. But hopefully that information uh -huh. that we gave them didn't really seem too interesting. Nothing about Johnny Silverhand specifically, I hope. 92 minutes. Likes large breasts. <laughs> Truck driver. Painfully shy, twice divorced. Attacked by a doll in unknown circumstances. Suffered severe injuries. According to a private investigator hired by Maiko Maeda, the likelihood that he was a target was slim to none. Monitoring required and compensation due if we want him to give up on the idea of suing the club. On Wednesday at approximately 2 a.m., a Netrunner attack took place in Booth 11. The witness was Thomas Briggs, who was in the session with a doll jacked into the system. As a result of the attack, he went into shock and presented psychosomatic symptoms. It was found that the Netrunner attack induced a psycho psychotic episode in the doll. In anticipation of a possible all-out assault on clouds at 2.06 a.m., all of the cloud security were requested on the premises, and 10 minutes later, Tiger Claw's reinforcements were called. Luckily, Booth 11 was the Netrunner's sole target. Mr. Briggs received first aid and was transferred to a psychiatric clinic. As of today, Friday, the doll is not suitable for use. Is she still around here? Is she still here? Here, here? The Woodman to Clouds. Please don't prevent Detective Lame from doing her fucking job. If she wants all the recordings, cough them up, and nobody goes in 11 until I give the all clear. Ginger Lane Investigation. Oh, that's Detective Lane. I'll be needing access to Booth 11 and all recordings from inside going back a month. Going back a month. If somebody attacked oh, Evelyn, is it a targeted attack? I guess that seems likely, right? Um. No, this is the same cameras as before. Shouldn't be finding anything interesting here. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm. Was that it? Should I just turn it off then? To make my life easier? Yeah? They're still on. They're still on. Well, I guess we'll just have to be careful about these things then. Am I doing it right? Offline. Offline. Okay, that's gotta be right. Locker room. Uh -huh. Evelyn's schedule. Uh -huh. 
Wednesday. Well, I mean, her schedule's not really gonna say too much because the hacking was unexpected, right? Saturday, 10 a.m. Judy breakfast cancelled. Cancelled might be an indication that they were fighting or something. Are they seeing each other, I wonder? Or are they just close friends? Hey. Left her purse. Could have had more than one. Uh, all her shit's in it, though. Must have left in a hurry. Mm. Mm -hmm. Did we look in the handbag? Can we look in the handbag? Hot dog? Uh -huh. It was spelled like the way it was spelled in Hot Dog Man. No future. Uh. We picked up Evelyn's handbag. Junk? It's really hard to tell where it is here. Quest item, maybe? We don't even have a quest item section. No, I guess the handbag is just whatever. We don't have to look inside. Uh, we don't have a weapon right now. Right, because they took it from us at the at the front entrance. So we should be careful. We'll have a gun here just in case. I don't even remember where I picked that up. Uh -huh. Lying on the counter somewhere, probably. Hey. Mm. Just trying to make sure we're seeing all the cameras around here first. Uh. Oh. Mm. Hey. The pipes are explosive. Just in case if this goes badly, yeah? Well... Okay. Is the guy himself here? Uh... uh. <clears throat> if you'll excuse me. Bro, no clients allowed in here. Having a meal? Close the door on the way out, would ya? As you can see, I'm very busy. <laughs> Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Oh, yeah. Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Mm. Look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho bitch who's never been ghosted by her bell or bow before. But go on. I'm listening. Oh, a Netrunner problem. Or Corpo, which one would be good here? You sit here in this dank hole you probably call your office and think you've got it made, don't you? Oh my god. Congrats! You read minds better than our own fucking AI. Someone get this girl a job. Ever stop to think who's behind the Tiger Claw puppets you call your bosses? Tiger Claw bosses have got their own bosses, in case you didn't know. You're just too small to see them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because you're such a big shot. Let's just say, a certain member of the Arasaka clan wouldn't be pleased if he knew something bad happened to Evelyn, and that you're the one responsible. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. It worked. Girl you're looking for, Parker? She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here. But you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. 
They're workers. Their jobs to generate profit. Evelyn stopped pulling profit. No denying that, sadly for her. Saw what she did to the client. She gets spiked or something. What a cycle, that woman! Whatever or whoever fried her circuits, it came from outside our subnet. They played their deck like a virtuoso. Her chip was fucking rot. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. So what does that mean then? Is she just dead or what? I keep looking at his hand because I'm scared there's gonna be like an emergency button there and then everyone's gonna rush in and try to get me. They common? These kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? Didn't think so. Behavioral chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plain lose their minds. And for everyone that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. So where is she now then? Where is her body at the minimum? This you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, said he knew something or other. You invested your own eddies to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn? <laughs> Please. <laughs> you got me. Ripper's the one who paid me. Oh no. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me. I know. Considering where I work. Fingers is a real specimen though. Got all the fetishes. Even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> Half the Ripper Docs are like... Creepy people. That Jotaro Shobo guy was probably considered a Ripper Doc too, right? Or maybe just an experimenter? You took her to the Ripper instead of following orders. Didn't take you for someone with balls. For fuck's sake, I'm not running a slaughterhouse here. I only recycle as a last resort. And family always gets a call. If there is any. Think there are any daddies out there willing to change the diapers of a brain-dead little slut on the verge of cyberpsychosis? Probably not. Casting him out on the street ain't an option either. Can't risk tanking our crit. Well, thank God you didn't recycle her. Well, anything's better than a bullet to the brain. Not so sure about that. <laughs> you know, that's what every doll says. I'm starting to like you. You looking for work by any chance? The Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Fingers? Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. And don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. Uh -huh. Quicker you're out of here, the better. Uh -huh. Jig Jig Street. But that wasn't the clinic that we saw in Jig Jig Street, was it? Uh -huh. Dark fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co-ed's wet dream. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. You're not letting me out, huh? Oh, I see. Of course I'm in. Evelyn still with this fingers creep? <laughs> yeah. Do I look like his secretary? Uh huh. How'd she look to you last time you saw her? Uh huh. You weren't listening. Told you already. Now get out. Okay. She is not doing good. No. Twinks, age 27, double dose of pleasure. We are perfectly synchronized, like one mind and two bodies. Doubled sensations, doubled orgasms, infinite pleasures. Ah, it's like the people we were fighting again. Uh -huh. There's two of them. Well, I suppose going this way is better than potentially getting attacked the other way. 